Alrighty. Welcome everybody to this special edition of our uh, Milk and Butter stream. Uh, so like usual, this will be an open AMA where you guys can ask questions and we'll answer them. But in addition, uh, the first 30 minutes or so, we're going to be showcasing the alpha version of the game that the team's been working on. So we're really excited to show you um, what's in store. Uh, Christian will take over for the showcase and kind of um, go over what you can do so far and what he plans to do and just things like that, where we're currently at in this early build. Um, and then after that, we're going to switch over to some multiplayer games where you guys can join in and play with us. And we hope to build some additional money for charity in the process of this stream. Um, I've linked our charity wallet address in our Twitch. So if you guys have spare crypto you want to donate for a good cause just put in the charity wallet and it'll be distributed evenly to our partners throughout the course of this stream but uh yeah i think without further ado let's get into the exciting stuff um for those who don't know i'm michael uh cmo um everybody else you want to introduce yourselves i'm spencer hayward the chief technical officer i'm uh, christian claypool ceo and i'm spencer keller uh, C O O. Awesome. Well, uh, yeah, let's let's get started. Uh, Christian, you want to take over? Yeah. So we're just showcasing off. It is kind of a prototypey alpha build. What we really want to do, and what's really important, we think, is the, you know the ability for you to play with your friends and play with random people. So that's kind of what this whole build was focused on. Is just it's just kind of some prototype rooms of what we can do and getting you know the multiplayer networking working and you know demoing some player customization stuff. And just, just kind of messing around and showing you what we have so far and how – and you, you like kind of segue into what we're actually going to include in, in the full build. Yes, it will be – yeah, it's, it's fully 3D, and it will be playable in your browser. The development build right now is standalone, but it will be playable in your browser. So work on any, any device that can run uh, OpenGL in the browser. Okay, so is everyone logging in? Their yes. Usernames. Yes. Okay, so yep. we'll connect as well. Well, as you can see, we're all just chilling here in this little hub world. Let me close this. But yeah, it looks like everyone's already customized their little cows. So kind of right now, we're just demoing what, how you can change your colors. What, what these will actually be in the final version, they'll be tied to NFTs. Maybe not player colors, but we have kind of different player hats, and these will be tied to actual tradable, ownable NFTs, and it'll pull from your wallet when you log in which ones you're able to put on so you've got several hey christian the audio is a little low it seems for on me the stream. or for everyone oh me okay as i was saying yeah the customization is going to be tied to to nfts that are in your wallet that you can buy them sell them and you can make them we really want to make a toolkit so players can make their own 3d avatar customization options and they can sell them to other players who want to put them on there their characters right now we just have a bunch of different hats that people can put on michael if you press tab and go to the there on the right side there's a little hats drop down you can scroll down okay I think your special hat is the beach hat okay tab and it's on the right yeah there should be a hats button it's kind of dark it's kind of really dark i didn't update the text oh i will locate my hat in the, in the uh, meantime it's probably at the very top just to the right of colors. Oh, I see it. Thank you. So there's, you can see Michael changing his little hat. <laughs> I'm Russian now. <laughs> but yeah, this is kind of an example of what we would think of as a hub world. We really want these hub worlds to be player created. So there'll be tools in game for you to sort of buy a plot of land. That plot of land will be, you know, it will be an NFT that you will own that plot of land and you can build on it. And there'll be different tools, different assets that you can pick from and build your own little world, something like this. And these are things that, you know, random people can drop in, your friends can drop in, and you can even, you know, give keys to your friends. So if you want to work with three or four people to build it, but only you have that plot of land NFT, you can send out keys to people so that they can actually help you build the world. So there can be large hub worlds that are just completely player created. So they'll, when we first start, of course, there'll be a lot of them that are made, you know, by the team, for the team or for everyone by the team but as you know more people end up making their own worlds we'll try to move the focus onto purely community created worlds right now yeah this is just a kind of an example world we're able to run around customize our characters jump around 
if you jump, <laughs> there's a weird little bug where if we jump really fast, we can just jump forever. It's kind of funny, but <laughs> blind cows. Yeah, but we really want you to be able to get everything in the game you see through through either you know playing the game or through if you want to purchase NFTs. So we can have things like resources growing as you know you can grow little plants and you can sell them back as NFTs. Say someone really wants these pumpkins. You could then grow pumpkins in your little plot of land on your farm and sell them on our NFT marketplace, which will be integrated into the game. And whoever wants to buy pumpkins for their farm can buy your pumpkins that you grew. So everything that you do in the game is tokenizable. Everything, entire, all the way down to your character. If you customize your character, put a bunch of hats on, put a bunch of different customizations on, you can tokenize it and you can sell your character. So if you want to be a character designer cosmetic designer and you want to build people's characters from you can do that you can do whatever you want everything is entirely tokenizable from player homes to different asset libraries different mini games we'll have players be able to make mini games it's kind of we really want that it to be completely fully integrated into into our, our nft marketplace and into our, so, our tokenomics so could um a player for example have their own have their own land where they build a farm and then on the farm they grow pumpkins and they can have a store there to sell them. Yeah, exactly. You could have a store where people could come and they could either just sell it through the website because it exists as an NFT, but we can, what gotcha. we want to do is we want to, yeah, like gamify it. So even though it's interfacing with the, the marketplace and all that's happening in the back end on blockchain, it looks like, yeah, it just looks like a store in the game. You just go there in the game, you can browse the inventory as, yeah, it could be a little stand in your farm. But in the background, it's actually, you know, using our tokenomics and using the, the Binance Smart Chain to do everything. Cool. But totally revamp the marketplace. And so I could technically, as a user, just capitalize the market on Russian hat cows and just make different color Russian hat cows. That's and each true. one could be its own NFT. Yeah, exactly. And, and Great. Yeah. All right. So as I said, there's a few different little prototype things we want to <laughs> the fireplaces uh yeah let's first walk to the through this boat driving as we said we want to have a bunch of different you know mini games that are player created or community created so if we jump through this little portal there'll be a little thing we can just just kind of we're conceptualizing if you someone made sort of a boat racing mini game where you can drive around on your boat so if if we jump in through here we'll get teleported into a world where we're all in our little boats <laughs> yep keeps our character customization through the worlds so that saves that'll be oh. saved as a token on your character, the yeah, you just drive around on our little boats. So <laughs> yeah, it's good to see that Hayward's stink trail remains. Yeah, oh, absolutely. he's very stinky. <laughs> yeah, it looks like a... I stay true to myself here. <laughs> I love the volcano. I want to drive my boat into the volcano. You can drive on land, but I will warn you, you will probably get stuck there and you probably will not be able to get it off. <laughs> you can get realistic. stuck extremely easily. <laughs> so, right, because... Just... What's that? Oh, go ahead. I was oh. just going to say, just to reiterate, this is like, obviously the very first alpha playable yes, version yes. of the game. Yes, yes. We really but wanted there... to focus on building, yeah, the multiplayer connectivity and getting that down pat before we actually flesh out the the rest of it but something like in a world like this we can expect for example boat races yeah we or... can expect boat races we can expect so what we're doing is we're making a very generic toolkit that you can do you can do everything in game you'll be able to have you know basic scripting functionality or you can if you experience with unity you can just import <laughs> uh, asset bundles so you can essentially i mean build whatever you want that you're capable with unity with a, within our framework that we create that you could have, I mean, you could just make a room and you can define the logic for boat racing. You can define the logic for mini games as they are. And they could, you know, award the person who, you know, made the mini game, the person who bought the mini game, however it works, it'll, it'll tie in. As we said, everything's going to tie in with our NFT marketplace and with our, with our tokenomics in different ways. And we're kind of exploring, we're kind of in the exploration phase of how we're going to do it. But I gave some examples earlier of, you know, tokenizing any assets that you create. And a little reminder too, this is open AMA, so I'll be reading the comments. So I'm seeing already some people popping in. So those are um, popping in right now. Scandy, Wiz and Liz, welcome guys. Good to see you. Um, yeah, if you guys have any questions, um, I'll, I'll read them out and call them out so we can answer them to our best of our ability. Oh, and there is a little text chat. There's just a, if you press enter, you can type in the text chat, but that's just testing. That works through all worlds. So if people are in different worlds, there'll be a, a running chat 
for anyone playing the game at any time. We're working on integrating voice as well, so there can be voice chats between worlds. You could be playing different mini games. You could be attending to your farm, whatever you want to be doing, and you could be talking to people. So this is a world chat, but theoretically there could also be chats. Yeah, there could be room chats. The world you're yeah, in. exactly. Okay, cool. Uh, we have a question. Uh, will there be a limited availability of land and any benefits to owning land as in a passive earning or share of stuff done on the land? Yeah, so when you have your land, you can get benefits. What they'll be is they'll be like tokenized achievements. So say a lot of people, you make a very popular location and a lot of people pass through it. You can get achievements and recognition for people going to your land. But like Keller had said, is you can have essentially have a stand, a store on your land where people can interact with the NFT contract on the game and actually go and buy and sell things in your in your land to you. So by owning land, you'll be able to actually interact in a more seamless way with the NFT marketplace. And as for limited availability, we're exploring how we're going to make the land a valuable asset instead of just making it infinite. So we, we're exploring the ideas of limited availability or sort of like maybe certain lands, like first few lands or like prime lands. Maybe they show up in the, in the room browser more prominently. But we do we do understand that there is a need to make a you know some sort of scarcity associated with that land ownership. Uh, if you guys follow me to the back side of the island, there should be a portal that says city. All right, on my way. In the meantime, we have uh, it looks like a couple new people who aren't aware of what this is. What's your elevator pitch to someone asking what's the game for? Oh, that's Tito. Um, what's the game for? The game the game is for. It's a it's a way for us to you know further gamify our tokens. You know we have the right now we have the voting, we have the churn and the you know the thing with the NFTs we have the tiered NFTs that's a little bit gamified. But what we want is a place where you know all the milk and butter holders can actually come together and they can you know build things together and work towards common goals because that's what we're all doing is we're working for this common goal of you know this charity. But you can actually work towards you know fun game goals. But in the process of doing so, you can earn milk and butter tokens and you can earn NFTs and such. We have um, another question. Will lands be procedurally generated or a base, um, and we would build on top of it? If unique, if unique, will some lands have resources or rare stuff like that? Yes, yeah, we are planning on having in-game resources to build some of those things that you saw. So what there will be is you have your like hub worlds that are player-owned lands, but there will be common areas where you can go and you can find resources. And yeah, maybe that's a good way to have incorporate some scarcity is that maybe you can get different levels of land and there's different different you know rarity of resources on it and that procedural generation is something that i have a lot of experience with so that's something we can definitely explore as well um next question is how will this play into charity will it all be based off of butter with milk being tied to churn only yeah what it'll be is it'll be driving volume for the tokens and will our new nft marketplace contract has a built-in charity funds so whatever tokens are used whether it be milk butter or any other future bp20 tokens that come out or exist on the market today they'll always be able to be sold back at least a portion of it and go into a charity fund so we're always being able to collect it so that's how the game would tie into charity is whenever you buy something from say if we have an in-game store those tokens will just get immediately burned but the transaction will actually cause you know the tokenomics to come into play so that there's there's all everything that interacts with the tokens and through the game we'll have the, the tokenomics built in. Are you guys in the city right now? Yeah, we're right yeah, we're, we're driving okay, some sorry. cars. We're parallel parking. Okay. I left my car in the middle of the road. <laughs> yeah, the cars the cars are very very. Get in your car. Odd. To drive. <laughs> I have no problem. It's just Hayward, which he has a problem <laughs> driving cars in real life. So. It's true. <laughs> And so, like theoretically, with Hayward's parking job, could we gamma f or could we turn that into a token? His parking ticket. Oh my! I somehow <laughs> smashed Keller out of his car. <laughs> oh, Don't worry. Can I flip you? <laughs> no, I'm getting out of that. That's breaking the game. <laughs> um. <laughs> yeah, you can't. You, you cannot get over the railroad tracks. <laughs> I guess that makes sense. Oh, I see. How high are the fees? Uh, the fees. We don't want. We really don't want anything that you know we offer as a. Uh, I guess the team official milk and butter assets to be more than, you know, four or five dollars. We really don't want. 
very expensive assets. But as, as we said, you know, they'll be player made things and they'll be able to determine their prices. Just like when minting any NFT in our marketplace, they can set the price. Yeah, for what they, they yeah. It's when worth. they sell, it, they determine how much it's worth, and if people pay it, then it's it's worth that much. But as for you know, official assets, official items from the team and from you know milk and butter is it's gonna be very it's gonna be low because we don't. I I personally don't believe in high priced cosmetics. So. Read. Oh, there's a bank over here. I'm gonna beat you to them. No, there's yeah, there's airplanes over here. <laughs> you want to fly? Let's hop in the planes. Oh gosh. Okay. Okay. Don't get in your zone. Okay, I'll let you take off first. <laughs> I'm not taking off. Welcome, Q Fancy. We see ya. Uh, T Bomb asks, in what period of time will the game be released? Um, uh, we'd like to have the first you know, minimum viable product to come out in the first quarter so that we can, you know, get people in and we can start expanding on it from there. But uh, it's currently a really early prototype, so we still have to experiment more with how it integrates with the wallet, how it plays in browser, and, you know, what what sort of things are going to be present in the game on launch in terms of what, you know, worlds we create, how the actual character is going to look. Everything you see right now is pretty much just a placeholder. But once we get those things ironed out, we really would like to have the first, you know, playable version for the public uh, out first quarter of 2022. That's Michael, nice. Michael is able to fly. Uh, VR integration, that's something that's possible. Uh, I have never worked with VR integration, so it's something that I can definitely look into. I'm not sure how with like a third person game, maybe it could be integrated, but I guess if you know, we make it compatible with, you know, generic Unity asset bundles, then players could create sort of their own VR integration. We really want it to be, like, really versatile what the players can do. So, you know, someone who's new and just used to, you know, regular building games can, you know, go to their little farm and build. But then people who are more experienced with using, you know, Unity and game dev and stuff can actually, you know, have a more in-depth control over the assets that they create. So it'll be accessible to all skill levels. Let's see if I can fly. Okay. Go ahead and fly away. Okay, I'm flying away. Well, he's flying. I crash landed my plane. <laughs> oh, but yeah, as we said, it's mostly this this build is exp exploring, you know, how we have like you know level loading, how we have items synced across, you know, the ne networking solution that we have and customization and stuff. So this, as we said, very early prototype, but at least it, it lets us show you know what we're planning and you can expect next week sometime for us to release the actual design document where we line out all the details that we'd like to have in the first version and future versions in, in much more detail hey where, where are, are you guys, guys? yeah where I'm, are you? Dri hey, where I'm driving the car down the middle of the I, map right now oh, I, <laughs> I, I was the victim of a car accident spencer hit me <laughs> i i do apologize uh, <laughs> <laughs> I got a little carried away. <laughs> oh yeah, it was just smashed I, in the car. I, le I, I left my car. <laughs> I left it just in the middle. Fleeing the crime scene. I, it, it's doing a little wheelie. <laughs> you can't catch me, Hayward. I'm gonna do my best. <laughs> uh, we have a question: which will be which token will be used more? Uh, Milk or butter token? I mean, as we've done with everything, they're they're all tied together. So you can use either one to buy and sell things. Just like with our NFT marketplace, you can buy with milk, butter, either one. And we would really want to integrate, you know, few more tokens in the future. So right now, like with the NFT marketplace, you can use BNB, but we also want to, you know, have a generic so you could use any, you know, you know, not just any one right off the bat, but we can, you know, kind of whitelist tokens to mm -hmm. be used on our marketplace. So you can have a, a big selection, but it'll always tie in and do do kind of like a buyback like the NFT marketplace does, where it always buy back. <laughs> you just nailed me. <laughs> oh man. Wow. Um, any plans to relaunch a V2 contract integrating both milk and butter into one, or will it stay a two-token system? 
Oh, that's something that that you know a lot of tokens are migrating, and a lot of the reasons is because you know the original fork that a lot of the tokens that have migrated from there's a lot of improvements to be made it's something we've explored and it's something we're kind of looking into but you'll be appraised if and when it does happen but yeah we want to make it so you know it's the most accessible system and you know the most efficient and we have we have gotten word from some pretty very large exchanges actually regarding some things in the contract that may need to be improved in the future but we'll We'll keep everyone appraised as to the plans regarding that. But it is something we have looked into because there are, you know, of course, reasons that a lot of other tokens have migrated. I know SafeMoon just migrated even yesterday. But, yeah, with the upcoming LP unlock, that could be a, a way to to do that. The good news is this game is very open where you guys can adapt and change as needed for anything. Really. Right. The base of it, at least. The building blocks aren't secure to one specific thing. Yes. <laughs> Let me see if I can land. Are you in your plane, Keller, down here? Yeah, I am. I, I can't take off. I don't have my pilot's license. Oh, yeah. The rock <laughs> took it from you. Oh, the rock <laughs> took it from me. A very real. <laughs> How do I get some fancy landing? gas like Hayward has? You have a special hat. Put on your beach hat. Everyone has a special okay, unique hat. Wait, I'm, uh, oh, Do I, not. Oh my. <laughs> oh, I'm coming in. Uh, I thought I was gonna come in for a landing, but I was not ready. <laughs> yeah, go ahead and come in. Here we go. Yeah, to co contrary to popular belief, that my captain hat does not allow me to fly the plane. <laughs> it's only for both. Yeah, it's only for both. Oh, I almost landed on the. Oh, you did. Oh, okay. You're done. Now I want to go back to my boat. I got a fancy beach hat. Oh, yeah. This is mine now. The rain's following you. This is oh, great. No. Uh, any oh, upcoming no. listings? Yes, we're, we, as we said, we've been in talks with a lot of exchanges, but we also want that to have the volume to support an exchange listing. So it'll be tied into, you know, as we release more products and as we get more eyes on the project, we'll incorporate those exchange listings. But yes, there will be more exchange listings. You're just raining everywhere. Yeah, I'm canceling all flights due to weather. <laughs> hey, where your car for some reason still had your name over it? Did it? I don't know. But... It's all part of my plan. <laughs> Keller, did you leave and reconnect? Uh, yeah. Uh -oh. I was stuck in the uh, in a plane. Yeah, your well, car still. We're has sorry your name to hear you can't. Oh. Yeah, I had to leave as well. That's I think. So you can't see the stream queue fancy, but we will be uploading um, the clip of this showcase on our YouTube channel. So if you want to watch it after the fact, you'll be able to see all this. I don't know where you're. Oh, did you exit the game while you were in your car? Hey, I did. Yep, yeah, that that's breaks what... everything. Yeah, because I got stuck. <laughs> yeah. And... <laughs> and so I had to. Yeah, that does break things. Unfortunately, that's a bug that I recently noted. Do you see your name flying over the car or no can you get I in this see... green car actually or no let me see i, I see irish look to... oh there he is okay uh no i can't no it's my just... my other person is still in there yes, other... <laughs> <laughs> he's still driving he's cloned him. Oh, I kind of, I kind of like the purple cow. The yeah, purple the purple cow is kind of nice. You are the, the green bean dunce. <laughs> <laughs> Red's where it's at. I'm, I'm no spy. I can't be a spy <laughs> with this trail. That is true. It does limit your spy head. I want to get a nice cow blazer. Michael, I believe there's a question for you. Uh, yes. What is about Mr. Beast? Do you still have contact with this team? Uh, yes, we are still in contact with this team, and as we get news to um, reveal to you guys, we will. Um, for now, that's all we can say. But yes, contact uh, is still going on. Will these buildings, let's say, for example, in this city, will they ever be able to be interable? Yeah, right now these are just I mean, hard-coded assets are just solid models. But yeah, it's it, it's very easy to have 
enterable buildings. And that can be something, you know, we can build, as we said, you know, players get to build their own little worlds. We can have assets be, we can have like a building that has an interior pre-built, or they could use our tools in the game to build their own buildings with interiors. So basically, if you can do it in Unity, you'd be, you'll be able to do it in our game. Kind of like, I don't know if people have experience with VR chat, but they have a really, really advanced toolkit that you can actually just import into Unity. Same with Kerbal Space Program, also built on Unity, where you can just build and incorporate mods, except instead of with mods, it'll be as like NFTs. So they'll be tokenized asset bundles. I was thinking it'd be cool to see some uh, like partnered shops in here too, like, mm -hmm. you know, Paul from Food for Life Global creating like a vegan farm. And selling things that could raise money for, right. for the charity. <laughs> Be cool. Oh, Hatton's got to take off. Uh, well, thanks for joining. Um, yeah, um, we will post the video if you want to see it on YouTube. And uh, we'll see you on the next one. Once we're done showcasing this, just a reminder, we're switching over to a multiplayer game called Jackbox, where you guys can participate and play with us and just hang with the team, ask more questions, and uh, hopefully raise a little bit more money for charity. Yeah, this is pretty much all I have. I just have these three worlds to show, and, you know, the clear customization little vehicles just showing what we can do with, you know, the scripting in-game and all that. So if we want to move on and no one else wants to hang out in the city anymore, we can do that. Yeah, a lot of exciting possibilities. This is going to be great. Um, well, yeah, I'm, I'm down. If you guys are, we can switch over to Jackbox and uh, get some people in chat involved. in. That. All right. Yeah, yeah I'm going to have to go. We're going to have to go back to our waiting screen for a bit while I get it all booted. So hang tight, everyone. All right, let's do it.